Hello guys, we're all about one here, coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today <clears throat> I have some new screen recording software, so I am able to do some online testing for you guys. I'm able to try out some testing. Um, I'm finally able to bring this video back because it's been a while since I've actually been able to do it. It's sad that I haven't been able to do it for a while, but I'm able, finally able to do some online testing for you guys today. So today we're going to be testing some light swarms because I actually want to get some light swarm testing done because I actually want to try to play the deck. Um, I've actually got all the cards now. I've been getting them for a while. Uh, I finally got the last cards I needed the other day, so I thought, why not do some light swarm testing? Try to get some <clears throat> duels in. And, you know, just have fun trying to test the deck, trying to learn the deck, and all the rest. <clears throat> now, hopefully we can get some good games in here, because we're playing the 60 card variant. Um, I kind of didn't like the 60 card variant at first, but I found that it was more consi It was kind of like better, just because you played more ways to get to your Brilliant Fusion and stuff. And we opened... Oh, okay. We opened okay. Um... <clears throat> we're going to normal summon the Scorpio. Then we're going to use Scorpio to discard our snow. Oh, he doesn't have Ash. Cool. Uh, well, he might have Ash, but he's just bait holding it. Uh, we'll use uh, our little Cobra to add us a Brilliant. So this deck has a lot of combos in it, which is why I kind of like the deck. Oh, he just drilled us... Um, a little annoying, but I can play around that by not making a Saruja. Uh, oh no, I shouldn't have brilliant that. Dang it! Oh, I should not have brilliant fusion there. I really shouldn't, but it's fine. I think I can play around that. I really shouldn't have, though. That, that really does put a cog in the works. Uh, see, this is why we're testing, because I need to learn the deck and I need to learn what not to do um okay so how do we play around this uh well let's send a trick clown like I would normally send a hat tricker but he's drilled us so we'll send a trick clown and we'll send a garnet to summon our our seraphonite um then we'll trick clown and summon it in the far corner. Now, the reason why this is really bad for the because he's drawled us is because we can't get Saruja's effect. And Saruja is kind of an important card in the deck, so it's really not good when that card gets stopped. But we should hopefully be able to play around it and still get our plays off. We'll go ahead and summon our Raiden. To get some extra mills, you know. <clears throat> uh, so Raiden, mill two. Oh, we milled a Mizuki. Now, if only we could get the solitaire engrave. <laughs> um, so now we will. We'll make Mrs. Radiant. Then with Mrs. Radiant, we'll go ahead and make our MX Saber Invoker. Alrighty, alrighty. So Invoker's effect will detach Cobra. Cobra will summon out a Thousand Blades. Alright. Um, then we will... Then we will overlay into Minerva using... The hat tricker and the Raiden. Um, what we got in here? We got snow, don't we? Yeah, we'll use the hat tricker and the Raiden. So we can make Minerva. Minerva's effect. Milling free cards. Oh, we milled another Mizuki. Um, okay, we get to play the game. <laughs> uh, so, Mizuki effect. Summon Mizuki. 
Alrighty. Then link summon into our Curios using you, you, and you. Curious effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and send a Glob Bulb, just because it lets us make one of the most broken cards in the game, Nat Beast. <laughs> um, which I'm actually going to be making a video on soon. Look out for that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and we milled a wolf. That's really good. Uh, yeah, we'll summon that wolf. Now, I want to be able to make Nat Beast. But I also want to make Omega. <laughs> um, hmm. Net Beast is more important. So we're going to go ahead and make a Net Beast. Like ending the turn with a Net Beast and ending the turn with an Omega, that's kind of different. Plus, we can't actually get to the board where we end with Omega, so there's that. Anyway, um, uh, that is pretty much the turn, so end. So, obviously, because the droll, I couldn't go super ham, plus I kind of misplayed by going right, brilliant fusion right away. But, outside of that, we're, we're still in a very good situation where we don't have to worry about anything, so we're still in, we're still very good. And he thinks he's going to be able to attack into my deck beast. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir, but Snow. Fairy Tale Snow, one of the most broken cards. Okay, so we're gonna banish our brilliant fusion. We're gonna banish you. We're gonna banish you. We're gonna banish you, you, and we're going to banish you. Oh, that's not seven. Okay, um, Seraphonite can be banished then. That was wrong. I should have banished the. I should have actually banished um, <clears throat> the Garnet instead of that because I could still monster reborn Seraphonite. But whatever. Okay, this does what? Room cycles a Dark Lord spell or trap? Cool. Ah, oh, you annoying, annoying, annoying cards. Um, draw a brick card for good turn. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to do that now. Dang, 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 dang. Um. Going to normal summon. Then I'm going to link summon into Suruja. Um, the point of that was because I don't want to, because I've got a thousand blades engraved. There's no point in detaching from Minerva yet. Oh wow, that's pretty good. You can go back. You can go back. I could keep the charge, but I could also use this to get the giant Rex. Hmm. I think I will keep the charge. Just because it gets me a Raiden. Unless I've already milled one and I just made a misplay again. <laughs> uh, seeing my misplays firsthand. Um, but it's good when you can notice your misplays. Like That shows that you're actually learning from what you're doing. And same thing as I said in the lot in um, a video I made in the part uh, the other day um, on Monday for Monday's video. Misplays just show that you're learning, so you shouldn't be too upset about them. Okay, so we got Trick Clown, we got you, and <sighs> both chain. Oh yeah, we don't get the Thousand Blades effect. I think no, we don't get the Thousand Blades effect because we milled a wolf. Which is a little upsetting, but it's fine. Solar Recharge. Going for our Ryan. Uh, Saruja will get us to summon our Ryan to give us some more mills. This deck is really consistent for what it can do as well, which makes it even worse. Um... We will then. Uh, we'll 
We'll make a tornado dragon, I think, just so we can um, <clears throat> force out that set card. It's great having Monster Reborn and Soul Charge in hand. Just force out that. Oh, he didn't chain it. Alright. Um, now, this is 26 bucks, so that would be game. But I'm going to go a bit further because I can. <laughs> Summon Solitaire. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, tribute Solitaire. You get a Unizombie. Okay, okay, okay. Then... We will... Uh... Yeah, screw it. Make Omega. <laughs> um, make Omega. Then... Like, wait, I'm just going as far as I possibly can right now. Just to see. Um, like, I'm pretty sure he can't stop any of this. Seeing he's got no cards in hand. And he can't use that trap when he flips. Alright, some of my snail. Um, yeah, there's nothing grave that can stop me, so I pretty much win here. Uh, snows. Goes into Utopia. And then straight into Utopia the Lightning. Alrighty. So, Battle Phase. Attack. You can't do anything. Attack. 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 And game. So even though we misplayed at the beginning there, we were still able to make a somewhat decent board right away. Um, because we were able to get curious, thanks to the Mizuki Mill. Um, but obviously that misplay could have turned out a lot worse where we would have been in a terrible, terrible situation where we wouldn't be able to actually play the game. But even still, we were able to go to a play we were able to get ourselves in an area where we were able to play the game. So it was fine. But honestly, what I should have done was I should have just made the invoker and then went into a Mrs. Radiant. But even still, uh, we were able to get to a place where we could play. So it's all good. <clears throat> and this hand is good if he doesn't have ash so you know i'm gonna play around the ash um <clears throat> i'm gonna play in a way that even if he has ash i'll still be able to do something because i don't want because of literally if he ashes me i'm unable to play the game so it's just better to play the game like this uh so rex summon here then Hatricker summons here. Now, even if he ashes us, we still have a play. So, it looks like he doesn't have Ash. But even still, if he did have Ash, then we would still be able to make a Minerva. And we would still be able to, you know, pl have plays later on. So, it is worth sometimes playing the safer route right away than just going right in. So, now that we get to do all of this... We get to actually play the game. We're essentially just going to build up our board. Because that's pretty much what Light Swans is. is build your board as far as you can. Which obviously isn't a, a great strategy. Because it's kind of... Um, it's kind of floodgate -y, But you're the only floodgate you're really ending on is a Nat Beast most of the time. But the fact that the Nat Beast is just so powerful enough to stop everything really does have a key play in the game. Um, like, literally, if you make Nat Beast, your opponent's going to be like, well, I can't Raigeki, I can't Twin Twister, I can't really play any spell or trap removal. So, <clears throat> it does make sense uh, for people to actually kind of want to play around it. Alright. So we're going in. 
So we've got a brilliant fusion. We're going to brilliant fusion into our Seraphonite, and we're going to send. I could send a Hatricker, um, but I feel like sending the Performage Damage Juggler is better because we've got the <clears throat> we've got our Thousand Blades in the grave. So I'm going to do that. We're going to send the Hatricker. <clears throat> uh, we're going to set summon Seraphonite here. So Hatricka targets itself. No, I don't want to stop the damage because then I won't get to some of the good cards. Uh, Thousand Blades summons here. Then we shall. We shall. Um, we'll make curious. Now, we're not going to use the Seraphonite, and the reason for that is, is because if we use the Seraphonite, then we can't get our additional normal summon, and I kind of want the additional normal summon to get this last snow out of my hand. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the these three, because it means we can get the last card out of my hand still, and <clears throat> it means we can also still have more, pl more plays to do. So, we're going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and send a glow up bulb because glow up bulb will then enable us to make our nat beast. And we met a wolf. <laughs> Men and wolf is the best. Okay, so we're going to additional normal summon our snow. Now we're going to go ahead and make us a Saruja. Just in case there isn't anything to do. Yep, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a Saruja. All right. Giving us that one extra card can always be helpful. Um, well, this can definitely go back. This can definitely go back. This can definitely go back. Literally, I played two Unizombie, and I do not want to be seeing them. <laughs> um, okay. Now we're going to charge. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a Raiden. Then we're going to use our Saruja's effect to go ahead and summon the Raiden. Okay, milled two. We milled an Ash and a Solar Recharge. Cool. I've kind of been debating on cutting Solar Recharge, but when you actually get to use it, it's actually insane. So it's like, it's a 50-50 sort of cutoff, but it's hard to choose if I actually want to cut it. So we're going to use Minerva, mill free, and we milled ourselves a, a Spirit Master. That will do us really good. Do we have a Solitaire in here as well? Because that would mean more plays. No, we don't have a Solitaire in there. Um, <clears throat> oh, Glow Bob Effect. Mill the Twin Twister. <clears throat> then we're going to make us a Naturia Beast. Now, I've kind of even been debating on putting Exodius in this deck. Just because it will recycle all our extra deck resources. Which it isn't a bad idea, but it's like... It doesn't get us everything we kind of want. So, it's a little 50-50 kind of thing. Um, do I want to go any further? That's the question... Uh, can I go any further? Actually, we've already we've already dinoed. Uh, we can't do that. Yeah, I feel like it's just an end turn from there. But even still, we've ended up with a pretty good board. Like we could have ended with maybe some another rank four, but there's no point in really going into anything else, wasting the snows. So we're up against greatest Diablos. Great, but we got the Nat Beast, so we can't do anything to it. Um. The darkest Diablos, not greatest Diablos. Um, but yeah, we're in a good position because of even if he tries to activate his field cell, we have got the true beast. Sending Destrudo. Oh, oh, I know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm not going to allow that in the slightest. As soon as this Destrudo hits the board, I am fairy tale snowing. He's going to attempt to black rose me. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm not allowing that. Not happening. 
Fix us now. Um, if if I if I let that go through, he's going to be able to um, black rose me, and I cannot, I can't do anything against the black rose. So we're instantly, instantly just dealing with that on the spot. Like there is no reason not to, because if he does have that, if he does play black rose, I am I I can't play. I, I honestly couldn't play around a black rose. Um, snow effect. We're going to set the grapher. <clears throat> So hopefully, he can't do much else. Like, even if he summons this, he's summoning a tuna. Oh, he's summoning this. Um, okay, on your summon, I'm still going to snow. On your summon, I'm going to snow. There you go. Like, we're, we're playing around this. We're, we're, not, we're not dealing with getting hit by that. Um... You know, I should have just probably destroyed the. Should have probably just destroyed the Destrudo last time. Um, I'll destroy something this time. Uh, banish all these cards that we're not going to use. Uh, we'll, we'll banish you definitely. That gives us two monsters. Okay. Summon us a snow. Dino, Skull, you. Okay, so Spirit Master, we're going to have Snow 1, Spirit Master 2, Direct 3. Snow will go ahead and set this. Spirit Master will destroy the Distrudo. And Rex will summon itself. Now, he has the Darkest Diablos, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because now he can be over on a true beast and be able to play his field spell. But the thing is, he's already wasted the resources that he would have used for that for that for most of the monsters that he would want to summon. So I feel like it's okay. As long as he doesn't have a Oh. You're here. Great. I know what this is. <laughs> Um, wait, why would you tribute the Lilith? You should tribute it. What? Why wouldn't you tribute your set monster? What? What? It's. Oh, god damn it. Bad players, bad players. <laughs> Honestly, why wouldn't you tribute the one that's set? Like, Lilith is a really good card. And especially seeing it's got a 2, two, two k body. Like, I don't understand why you do that. Uh find a true beast. It was good while it lasted. No, yeah, he, he's going to activate his field spell in the end phase. Like, haha, I had it all along. But I can play around his board. Like, I'm losing anything with 1,200 defense or less, but <clears throat> I will still keep my Saruja, so it's fine. Uh, what is this? A dragado. During your first turn, you can summon this card from your hand. To get... Oh, it's that. Okay. I guess you're on 5k now. That's cool. Alright, draw for turn. That's an irrelevant draw. <clears throat> yeah, he's just straight up virusing me. Um. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Um, that's fine. Uh, effect. Effect. One, two. Summon the trick down. Alright. Like, I can easily rebuild the board. Uh, it, it is no problem. You got a mill free. You got a special summon you hit. Take that thousand. Activate thousand blades. Yep. Yepity do. Nope. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Um. 
Just got a thinky winky here. Okay, okay. We um. Does this do anything in my turn? Uh, make sure that's not during you play's turn. All right. Uh, we are going to snow. Banishing. You, you, you. Uh, you, 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 done. Summon our snow. Effect of Jared Rex. Effect of snow. <clears throat> Go into set your Jurigator. Just to stop this from getting an extra thousand. Still gonna gain that extra thousand. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's dead regardless, so doesn't matter. Alright. Summon Utopia No no, we're gonna summon Dweller. And there's a good reason for this. Because if we summon Dweller, then on his turn, if he survives, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't, um, it means he won't be able to use his just Dark Diablos in Graveyard, so... Uh, if he gets, like, a lucky draw. So, we're going to use these two. I, I should have used the Trick Clown. Oh, well. Okay. And also, we've got Snow and Grave, so he's definitely not living. He he's most definitely dead. So... Yep, we're just going to go straight for the kill. Um, I feel like this guy did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> like, he could have done a lot better. He, he should have definitely kept that trap girl on board. Yeah, he surrendered. He knew he was dead. Yep, that's what happens when you duel against me with my light swarm. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have one... I think we'll play one more match, uh, one more game. Um, we'll play one more game, and there's an error on my board. Gray, go, go away, go away, go away. Um, I literally hate when this app just crashes on me and just gives me these false error codes. Can I? Uh, um, just gonna shove you down there. Okay. Uh, click on you. Click on you. Nope. Start my own. Um, what is wrong? Come on. Has the app crashed? Don't tell me the app crashed. Ah. Oh. oh well, looks like you guys get to see what's on my background. Yes, it's Blue, Blue Angel. Yay. Yeah, I have her as my background. Judge me. <laughs> the app crashed. I can't. Uh, stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. Anyway, um, let's get one more game in, and then we'll call it a video. And Blue Angel looks lovely, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like the. I just like her artwork. Obviously. <laughs> um, okay, we opened pretty good here. We actually opened uh, pretty nice. But we're going second. Brandish. Now, I actually haven't had a proper game against Brandish. So, this will be technically my first game against Brandish. So, hopefully, um, it's not a bad one. Uh, we'll see what we can do against them. Like, I wish I went first, because I could have made the Neuturia Beast play. Um, but, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um... Like, I believe the deck revolves around not having any main monster zones. So, that is a card and a thing. So, he's set a card, he's got two cards in hand, and he's got one monster on the board. And I... Yeah. So, all of them also only take one Brandish monster, I believe. Yeah. One non-fire Brandish Maiden. Okay. So... We're basically going to see what the deck does, and hope... Like, I'm going to Twin Twister. Twin Twistering is the is literally going to happen straight away. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, we could left arm. Um, that's an option. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the two new sets. Because these ones... I don't trust. Not in the slightest. Um, so we're going to hit these two. Uh, we had, if you control no monsters, you may monster target one effect monsters. Yeah, that would have been a problem. Oh, wow, we hit two of them. Those would have been problems. Very, very big problems. Um, okay. So, I feel like left arming is the correct play. Um, but he's got two set cards, so... Um, let's think here. Like, if we left arm, we could mill a lot of cards. Um, but we've also got the play where we could just go Scorpio, go into everything else again. But this is more of a risk. So we're, we're going to Scorpio. Uh, I feel like this is the safer play out of all the plays. So I feel like this is the better option. Like, um, Banishing, he just surrendered. He knew what was going on. <laughs> After I hit the, these two really good cards, he knew what was going on. Um, yeah... I got, I got lucky, I suppose. Um, but seeing as that game looked to like two seconds, and I still have not had a proper brandish duel, um, we'll go. We'll have one more just to you know try again. So we're going first. Uh, he chose scissors. We chose rock. Hey, hey, hey. And we drew pre like any hand where you open Scorpio is good. And we opened the solar recharge with the wolf as well. Uh, so that's pretty... Actually, that's really decent. Um, so, I have options. I can, like, we, I can test the ash. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. When you sneeze, you sneeze. You can't help it. Um, so we're going to test the waters for an ash. Like, if he's got it, he's got it. Okay, so it seems he doesn't have ash. Which is good. It's really good when your opponent does not have ash. But we milled an ash, which is kind of sad. Uh, so we're going to normal summon our Scorpio. We're going to get Scorpio's effect. We're going to go ahead and send our Snow to the Grave. To summon out our Cobra. We've got Desires as well, which will get us additional plays. Which is nice. Uh, Cobra. So get the Brilliant Fusion. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to special summon the Hat Tricker now, just to be safe. Then we're going to go Invoker. <clears throat> you know, maybe I'll test Brandish on here because I've never, I've haven't actually played against them properly, and I haven't really had much experience against them. So maybe testing them on here would be a good idea. <clears throat> you know, just to get some experience with them myself because I kind of want to know what the deck does, but I've never actually played against the deck, so it's kind of annoying. But it'd be good to get some testing experience against Brandish. It's always good to get some new experience against any deck to me. Really is. Mm. So brilliant fusion. We're gonna send our jugger this time and our gun it. Then juggler. We'll search ourselves a hat tricker. The whole reason we play hat trickers. <clears throat> Uh, special summon the hat tricker. Then we make us a curious. Because we are very curious. <laughs> um, Alright. So curious effect. We're going to go ahead and send us a glow up bulb. I, I'll prefer that beast to nothing. Oh, cool. We mod a solitaire. So we can go ahead for more plays as well. Uh, Yeah, we'll solitaire here. Um, Solitaire effect. Summon Shinobi Sage. I mean Solitaire. I mean uh, Mizuki effect. Summon Solitaire. Not uh, I'm all over the place. Um, so Solitaire summons our Unizombie. Then we'll send one from deck, targeting itself, of course. To send a Mizuki. Mm. 
Can I do anything? Or do you have response? You seem to be waiting, good sir. Does that mean you have a chain? Like, I've gone pretty far already. Like, I don't know what he could have. Like, what could you do mid-combo? That's the question. Show me what you got. I'm curious. Uh, I got curious on the board, so I'm curious in real life. <laughs> curiosity, curiosity, curiosity. That's the question. Um... Come on. No, oh, it's done. Um, Mizuki effect. Now, to make a Minerva or to make an Omega? That's the question. I feel like making a, M a Minerva is better, honestly. But Omega would also be a good choice in this situation. Just because it means we get the monsters in the graveyard. Actually, no, we can make both. No, can we make both? Do we have the Solitaire in the grave? No, we don't. Um, well, if we mill it, it's good. Like, let's go for the Minerva. Like, even if we don't, we've still got, good, we've still got plays that can still get us to more resources, so... We can still have areas we can go to. So we'll send the Solitaire to the grave. We milled a Raiden as well, which was pretty good. And we drew Monster Reborn. We drew Monster Reborn. I can't waste the Monster Reborn, so that's sad. Um, I'm going to glow up bulb. Just to mill another card. We milled a Desires. Now, here's the question I had. I can go further. Do I want to go further? I'm going to desires to desire, decide that. <clears throat> Draw two. Oh, a charge and a recharge. What do we banish though? Uh, there's a Mizuki there. Oh wait, no, those aren't the banishes. Uh, we can charge. Mill more cards. Add us a Raiden. Alrighty. We mill us a Mizuki, as, uh, a Unizombie as well. And we mill... Hmm. We can go further. Giant Rex, Giant Rex, Giant Rex, Giant Rex, Giant Rex, Giant Rex. Giant Rex. Giant Rex. Uh, Snow. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going past. We're going past the speed barrier. Don't want that. I want this. Alrighty. Now I could make a Saruja. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to make a Saruja. So, but what will we use? Minerva, Giant Rex, yeah, fine. That's, that's fine. Okay, uh, Minerva, Giant Rex, Snow, and Curious. Syringe's Effect. We've got no more targets in deck for the Light Swan, so you can go back. We don't want you, we don't want you. Okay. Now let's Saruja. Special summon a Raiden. We will Raiden. Now two. Then we will Nat Beast. And finally. It will snow one more time. For all these bad, good cards to be banished. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 
and we'll make an Omega. Mm-hmm. Omega, real quick before we run out of time. So I'm in it here. And we will end our turn. Okay. So in standby phase, we get Omega. And he will be putting back a Mizuki, most likely. Yeah, we'll be putting back a Mizuki. <clears throat> And it's his go. So he, what are you going to do, my friend? We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. Uh, we've got a Ghost Ogre. We've got two snow in Graveyard, so we've got plays. I want to know what you're going to do, sir. How are you going to stop me? How are you going to prevent me from playing the game? I mean, he could raw spear mode me. <laughs> which, would be, uh, which would be very, very problematic. Which I don't really want to happen. Please don't. Please don't actually do that. <laughs> Please don't actually do that. <clears throat> that would be a problem in in a in a huge scale. So, yeah, what are you gonna do? I feel like he could pot potentially just kill me because he's got six cards in hand, but he's not doing anything. He's playing heroes. Alright. How does your Ice Edge stop me? I don't understand. Well, I'm going to just Omega here. Just because I feel like that's the best play. It still doesn't get you over the problem. Plus I'm going to nap beast that. Okay. So this is obviously not the best hero build. Um but okay. Um so discard a card, get yourself a free attack, sure. Like, what's the... I, I'm just going to kill him next turn. Honestly. I went through all the effort. <laughs> um, summon up Thousand Blades. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll him, run him over with our overly sized play of Monster Reborn, and we'll summon a Seraph Knight because why not? Dude, if you ain't got anything, let me play. <sighs> Yeah, he just surrendered. Um, anyway, guys, uh, we had pretty good tests. Um, like, I've been testing the deck for a bit as well, just before this, trying to figure out all the kings, figure out everything about it, figure out just how the deck actually works and how it plays. Clearly, you can tell that I've been learning, but I've also got weights to go because if I made misplay here or there. Um, but... Yeah, um, that was the video. Tell me what you think of the video. Uh, tell me if you enjoyed it. Tell me if you want to see more dual videos like this, more test duels, um, using maybe some decks that I haven't touched before. So maybe something like Brandish, which is cut, which it would be kind of fun to test, I believe, because it looks interesting. It's just like it's pure spell based, and it only has one main deck monster, which is kind of what's pushing me away from it. But if you guys want to see something like that, tell me that in the comment section below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to watch next. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see you next. I will see you later. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Don't forget to comment the bit on the video if you want to share your opinions. If you want to tell me if I did anything wrong. If you do want to tell me if there's anything I might want to add to my Light Swan build, um, just if I haven't already added it. 
Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos. Um, if you enjoyed the video, again, I kind of forgot to say this. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more new videos from me, subscribe. If you want to be, be notified of those future new videos, no, press the notification button. And yeah, guys, um, this was a fun video. Uh, it has been a while since I've been able to do this. Uh, also, guys, don't forget tomorrow night I am streaming. So come along and watch that if you want to see some streams. Uh, me stream like The Last of Us. Um, and just come ask questions and all of that. Don't forget that because tomorrow night I will be doing that. Uh, it will be fun. Just come along, watch it, talk to me. Um, we'll have some fun. Uh, I'll be acting like a complete idiot, talking, making character things up um, with my with whoever's on the stream or whoever or with the characters. But yeah, guys, uh, that's the video. Roll about one signing out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will hopefully do another one of these videos very soon. And bye, guys. Roll about one signing out. Thanks for watching.